Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy with Crafting Cake with Billy. I'm super excited that you guys are here today with me. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome back to all of my crafty friends. So glad you're here. Today I wanted to do another gingerbread share. It is Gingerbread Friday. And you guys know on Fridays I like to share different uh, new gingerbread pro projects, excuse me that I have worked on. So this is my latest, and it is a stuffed gingerbread bag. And I also have an ornament that I will share with you in just a bit. Um, if this is your first time tuning in to the Gingerbread Friday, I do have other stuffed gingerbread bags that I will link below. I will link all of my gingerbread projects and any other related videos in the description. So when you're done watching this video, please take a moment to check the description and I will link some more wonderful gingerbread videos. Thank you guys so much. So this gingerbread stuffed bag is a, I wanted to use a pink and red theme, which you don't normally see pink and red for Christmas, but I thought these colors were nice together with a splash of green. So I altered a um, brown gift bag and I just added some pockets and just some odds and ends. I will give you a close up here of the bag with the pockets. And this is just to give you an idea. Um, if you have other crafty friends that you like to share things with, this is a nice idea for, for um, Happy Mail or um, if you wanna give some goodies to a coworker or a friend or, you know, anyone who likes cute little crafty items would enjoy one of these. So I am going to kind of pull this apart and then um, show you what I have in here. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything exquisite or expensive or anything like that, just little odds and ends to let someone know that you're thinking about them. It always feels nice to know someone cares, you know? So, um, I'll start with, um, so I started off with, you know, the base of it is just a brown paper bag. And then I added one, two, three other bags. These two bags here are a size smaller than the larger bag and I cut them in half to make the pockets and then I used a very small bag for the front pocket and then I just added uh, scrapbook paper just different scrapbook paper um, I like the pink and white stripes so I used that and also used um, a present paper with little gift um, boxes on there and then I also used some um, stocking paper so um, for the base I just added different papers and then at the bottom I added some red rickrack with some cute little green buttons and they're all different and I liked that look so I added that to the bottom and then I added some gingham trim here with an extra large button and then a little like a smaller brown button and then a cute little gingerbread there look how cute he is with his little smile mm-hmm okay and then on this side I added some jingle bells how cute are these I think I got these from I don't know maybe Ross not Ross um, Michaels or um, Hobby Lobby but it's been a while back so I'm not for sure, but you can find these um, pretty much at any craft store. I um, I used these cute little tabs here just to make it look like, kind of like a bandana sticking out, but these don't come out, I glued them in. This is a nice front pocket for a gift card, so I stuck a gift card in here. Um, I'm gonna take this stuff out so you can see how it's put together. Um, I added another one of those cute little sequins packets that I will link below if you missed that video. But I love the papers for that. 
Um, I also added some rock candy and pink and red. And I really wanted this bag to be whimsical, so it's just um, just nice and fun. And then um, I added a few papers just because they played well with our other gingham paper here. So here's a little gingerbread and some papers here just to, to add some interest. Um, if your friend is a crafter, you can add in some craft paper. I love a paper pad. <laughs> I love any sorts of paper. So um, also added some airheads just for the color you know there's like that green that plays well with the colors in here you can just add different candies and stuff like that um, I'm working on a junk journal so I thought that picture was pretty I'm not done with it at all but um I just stuck that in there just because that paper looks nice in here but you can add books you can add um, anything that you want to gift a person Here's one of those jumbo, jumbo paper clips with some of that netting trim. And I thought that was cute. And this big pink bow. And then I just added an altered paper clip. I have a video on those that I will link below. I also added some little stockings. Yeah, the wonderful thing about these, you can add whatever you want and then, you know, Whatever you have sticking out the top is what gives it the pizzazz and the character. So um, I love just looking at these. It doesn't really matter what's in them. It's just um, I love the look. But these are a lot of fun. And you can have them sticking up upside down or just the regular way. And I'm going to stick all of this stuff back in here. But it's, it's a nice way to gift, stick a little gift card or something in there for your friend or family. And here is Mr. Gingerbread sticking out that they can alter. He's cute. Um, I also put some peppermints. You can stick some peppermints in there. And I'm going to stick these back. And then I'm going to share with you this week's gingerbread. All right, I'm gonna move this to the side here. And then we will get into the gingerbread for the week. And this is the gingerbread that I will be sharing with you today. And her name is um, Shelly. This is Shelly, and Shelly is a fashionista, of course. She has on this pretty lace hat that she tilts to the side. She has her beautiful lashes and her beautiful pearl earring. And you can't see the other earring because her hat covers it. Actually, I didn't have another pearl like that. <laughs> so, so I just covered it with her hat. And um, she has on some heavy, thick eyeliner on her top eyelid. And she has these beautiful eyes and her beautiful lipstick there. And here is a purple, I'm sorry, a pink um, paper flower. And the center flower here was sent to me from Nadia the other day. And so I used her flower on the inside of this paper flower and then I added a cute little snowflake because, you know, it's a gingerbread, so you gotta have a snowflake. But look how cute her little face is, and she's just ready for Christmas. But yeah, this one was a lot of fun. I have made several of these, and I can't wait to share my gingerbread tree it is loaded with gingerbreads and i can't wait to share that with you i will have a listing of all of my gingerbreads in the description so that you can go back and check those out and i'm gonna put my gingerbread with the bot with the uh, stuffed bag 
and look how cute, right? But this was a lot of fun, guys, and I do appreciate you watching. If you're new here to my channel, please just give me, uh, take a second and um, subscribe. And also, if you would like this video, I would appreciate that very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have been doing well. And until next time, you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Have a fantastic day. All right. Bye.